Hello, my name is Mark Kraft. I have for some time been uh, working on a, a, like an informal program that I've been wanting to put out enforcing, informing black people of how far we have been seemingly driven off from our true course in life as a society uh, that God has already laid out the structure for. And before I even go on to reading into some sort of grieving in a lot of ways, I want to give you an example of what I'm talking about on the board. I had already wrote this, but what I was writing is throughout the Egyptian time, we all familiar with the pyramids. And in the pyramids, I chose a song that I listened to on the radio a lot. The song name of the song is Let the Church Say Amen. And when I heard the song, as long as I've been trying to come up with a theme that completely covers what I am trying to say, it just hit me. And I said, this is it. This is what I've been looking for to make everybody understand what I'm saying. So anyway, here I go. Within the pyramid, these are families. You like Egypt, Cuba, Africa, Germany, China, and on and on and on. I just put these to show as an example. All the countries of the United States. In every country, as I said before, let the church say amen. In other words, let's say this would represent China. So in China, those countries have state senators, representatives, secretary, treasurer, state, and uh, if the whole structure of a, a country is there. Here you have black. Here you have white. Here it should be Cuba. What I was emphasizing is all ships must sail in the same direction. Two males cannot walk into the Garden of Eden together. In other words, he can't hold your hand, you can't hold his hand. We all have to praise God who looks upon us. We all have to be responsible within a culture as a society of people praising under the authority of God. When I say all ships must sail in the same direction, I'm saying such as the, the ship being, or as a pyramid, a, a unit, a society, whether it would, in our case it's a black people that I'm talking about. Here in the whites section, and not being just purely racist, just facts that we have been following them. We've been, I'm going to keep saying them. I'm not going to say white no more. I'm just going to say them. So I don't have to keep sounding the fence. But we've been having to follow them. And all through the path in our life, I would want to say this, like Martin Luther King. I'm just going to put M MLK. Okay, he tried to talk. They said, be quiet. Uh, Malcolm X. He tried to talk. He got quieted down. But here you have them. When I'm, I'm, ident I'm, addicted, I'm identifying it with this little man on a pyramid, telling you, shh, you can't do that. But when you can't maintain or isolate the security, you take like every animal, form or groups of animals, if you notice how they flock together, and they, they have their securities among themselves. Any kind of animal you could think of does that. So when, when you have a society that has no direct structure that identifies on, how can you show God you identify yourself as a structure? How can you prove that? Only among each other. And as again, as I said, let the church say amen. In other words, this church has the right to create within themselves an environment that represents the honor that they want to display to God. This society can't put that together. We don't have the, 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 the state's represent, representatives and all the uh, secretary and the whole thing that even in the sense of security, we have, they have, everybody have even FBI. Like I said, you have eyes, ears, nose, mouth. Those are senses that each body have to have among itself. All the senses that every one of them have. Everything. Secret Services, uh, not only Secretary and Treasurer and all of this, we all have to be able to secure that this one isn't going to harm this one or this one not going to harm this one. We don't have anything of that. Since slavery time, 
we've always been told, well, oh, this is the word I'm almost forgetting to say. Carnegie. What we have been really denied was to just congregate. In other words, congressional authority. But this is what uh, we, we have been being blocked from, congressional authority. Just to congregate. Since slavery time, you remember when he burned the church? Let the church say amen. No. From slavery time when people got, black people got together to assemble, to form a unit, a society, almost like an Indian tribe. Let the church say, amen. This is the church. This is the church. This, this is the church. On and on and on and on and on. All these places, this, these represent different cultures. Let the church say, amen. Let these people represent themselves in every form, in every shape or fashion of that. Simply to congregate, congressional authority, and that congressional authority cover all of it, everything that all countries have. Matter of fact, when all the other people come into this country, like Mexico, like all the other nationalities, what secures them from white people isn't that they come here with it, with all of their representatives. The reason they could come here so strong is where they come from have that already, have all of this. So when they come here, or when America got to deal with them, they're not going to get too hostile because they know they're not dealing with one man. They're dealing with a society, a structure that can represent and secure its own boundaries. One second. One second.